Hey everyone, this is Modest Millions, and today we're going to be covering something that I have personally done multiple times, but however, just never really kept any track of. So I wanted to do this so that I can show you guys exactly the time invested, plus the materials that you get out of doing this. So I wanted to level a tune using threads of eight from 50 to 60, only doing herbalism and mining. Save up all of the materials that we get, and then sell them off all at once, and see how much we make by the time we hit 60. So let's go. All right, everyone. So we're starting off with one of my tunes on Storm Rage. I just want to start leveling up. And this is one of the tunes that is a dual gatherer. So now that I have Threads of Fate option, I'm simply going to run the character from the Maw and then open up the Threads of Fate and head over to Revendreth. I actually did this in BFA for three or four different tunes and got them to max level, just running the Tear Guard sound route until max level. However, one thing that I didn't keep track of was the time invested or the actual actual materials that you get over the entire time that you're farming. So I was planning on doing this anyway, so I thought it would be fun to kind of keep track of the time and also keep track of the materials. And then at the end of the challenge, I'll list them all up and see how much gold we actually make from selling the items. So now down to the juicy details on this route. So I'm using my Revendreth route and I'm going to be using this spot until they nerf it or if they don't until I hit level 60. This is a wonderful mining and herbalism spot. The spot is very small, very dense, and very easy to farm, and seems after one hour of testing to be very quick with gaining level. So as you can see here, I've already done one hour of farming. This is what we got. We got 83 Death Blossom, 56 Widow Blooms, 12 of the Nightshade, 220 of the Laystride Ore, 126 of the Sinvir Ore, 4 of the Alethium Ore, 9 Shaded Stone, and 84 porous stones and this is on a very high pop server with a lot of competition so more than likely on your server you'll be able to get more in the hour and I was also able to gain an entire level and some so I started off leveling at about 3% of 51 and then after the hour was over I was at 6% of 52 obviously as your level gets higher the experience that you get from these gets lower there was a pretty significant drop whenever I hit 52. The nodes were giving me 1900 experience and now they're only giving me a thousand. So we'll see how this affects us over time. So the main reason that I wanted to test this out and be able to give you guys exact numbers on this is because I want to see if this is going to be as good as the BFA way of leveling. The reason I say that is is because in BFA I was able to use this as a rinse and repeat method to bring up alts. So let me explain. I was able to use this method to level one alt from 50 to 60 and by the time that I had finished getting to level 60 I had enough gold on that tune from selling the materials to then buy another boost and some so that's what I'm planning on doing we're going to turn this into a series to see if you're still able to do that in Shadowlands and if so we're just going to see how many tunes that we can bring up I'll also use this series to kind of edit anything with my routes and talk more about numbers once I've made those changes and that's really it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed the video please comment like and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next video